Innovation in Action is a video podcast series on innovating in uncertain times, produced in collaboration between the XPRIZE Foundation, the leading model for fostering innovation through competition, and BT Global Services, a leading worldwide provider of communication solutions and services. This series will highlight how innovation can help solve the challenges of today. In this program, we look at energy and how BT and the XPRIZE Foundation are maximizing this critical resource in difficult times. We visit the solar-powered BT headquarters in North America and meet the winners of the latest XPRIZE video contest for clean energy ideas. And we'll see how BT is helping its oil and gas industry client, Cameron, innovate and reduce costs as it manages rapid worldwide expansion with a new global network. Modern, energy efficient and sustainable, the solar-powered BT America's headquarters in El Segundo, California, was a fitting stage to announce the winner of the $25,000 XPRIZE contest for new prize ideas. Launched in September 2008 on YouTube, the What's Your Crazy Green Idea video contest asked viewers to submit two-minute videos of their best ideas for clean energy. We launched this as a YouTube competition to reach a younger audience with new and novel ideas that we could develop into full X prizes. Our mission at the foundation is to bring about radical breakthroughs to the benefit of humanity. And we're hoping through this competition to find new concepts that we can launch as energy X prizes. Out of 133 videos submitted, one winner, the Capacitor Challenge, goes on for prize development, where its viability as the next energy X prize will be fully tested by experts. The goal of the future is to develop a new technological infrastructure for energy storage that not only impacts iPods, cell phones, and laptops, but completely revolutionizes the fuel economy with use of electric vehicles. We consider this problem to fully embody the fundamental hallmark of the XPRIZE Foundation, revolution through competition. The winners and finalists of the contest not only were able to discuss the merits of their ideas with a group of energy experts, but they also had the chance to see firsthand an innovative example of how proactive companies can embrace clean energy. BT had installed a series of solar modules mounted on a state-of-the-art single-axis tracking system, generating power that will reduce the site's energy costs by about 15%. BT is a global leader in uh, global environmental services in two ways. First of all, at the 2008 World Communications Award, BT was recognised with the Green Award for IT services. And since 2001, BT has been the leader in the telecommunications sector in the Dow Jones Index Sustainability Awards. BT is one of the few companies in the world that has reduced its overall carbon emissions while continuing to grow its business. With rising energy costs becoming ever more critical in difficult economic times, both the XPRIZE Foundation and BT Global Services are at the forefront of catalyzing innovation, be it to accelerate a global change or collaborating with customers to help them reduce energy consumption, save money, and sustain the planet. The world's energy demands are fast outstripping supplies and are now fueling a worldwide expansion in oil and gas exploration and production. The companies in this sector are truly global, often operating in the most remote corners of the world. To maintain these operations and continue critical collaboration, they increasingly rely on the most advanced IT network solutions available. This is where BT Global Services comes in, bringing all the advantages of a networked, converged world. One customer, Cameron, based in Houston, Texas, is a leading provider of flow equipment products, systems and services to worldwide oil, gas and process industries. By 2006, faced with phenomenal worldwide growth, Cameron had reached the limit of its original IT system, then globally divided between eastern and western hemispheres. With 16,000 employees in 50 countries, Cameron needed a unified global network that could handle all communications across its enterprise. Part of our strategy is that we need to be able to design our products anywhere and build our products anywhere. To do that, we needed to have the ability to have transparent communications, unified communications, if you will, so people could collaborate and exchange information all around the globe. 
What Tracy was looking to do is something that we had done ourselves, that we did have the global reach, but also the local know-how to deliver a global world-class network. And we did have the experience managing these systems. And what that enabled him to do was he was able to reallocate resources, reallocate dollars into projects that drove value to their uh, line of business. VT had the reach that we needed. They had the services attitude that we needed. And they were able to partner with us and deliver in a very short amount of time. Within nine months, BT built and tested a network across the Cameron Business Nexus in nearly every oil and gas producing province around the world, enabling Cameron employees to communicate with voice, data, audio, video, email, and instant messaging. All through this partnership, what we were able to do was more than 10 times the amount of traffic uh, that went over these lines were able to be re done for over half the cost. And our overall IT spend is actually down by 10% even when our company has grown by three to four times. A partnership with BT also provides access to BT's commitment to ongoing technical innovation. We have a significant um, research and development group, not only um, at our research and development facilities at Industrial Park, but also through our university program. Partnering with BT, we were able to send our chief engineer to schools such as MIT, along with BT, to, to express the need and talk about ways to innovate. And that, those kind of partnerships are very, very valuable to us at Cameron. We want to be able to have the same experience that somebody has in a desktop everywhere in the world now be extended out to the remote regions of the world on mobile devices. We're looking at BT to help us in any way we can to reach our customers in these remote places and provide information technology-backed services that integrate with our product. In today's fast-moving energy sector and uncertain economic times, successful enterprises like Cameron thrive on collaboration through communication, bringing people together no matter where they are to innovate, make better decisions, and seize opportunities. BT Technology Products and Services make that possible. Dean Kamen is a successful inventor, entrepreneur, and a tireless advocate for science and technology. He is a founder of DECA Research and Development Corporation. I think our society is no longer properly valuing the intangible potential of innovation, even if uh, we have to be a little uncomfortable with the risks associated with it and a little bit uh, uh, willing to fail and pick ourselves up and dust ourselves off and try again. We don't seem to want to do that as much as we used so, to. You've got to inspire your organization to take risks at some level, you know, to, 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 to try and create breakthroughs. What do you, how do you do that in the organization? The two best things you do to inspire people to try to do really big things is one, lead by example and be willing to fail along with them and be in there knee deep or up to your neck with them when you fail. And the second is don't punish failure. Don't waste your time making excuses. Uh, when you fail, what did I learn from that? How do I make sure I don't do that again? Dean Kamen has had many successes and is currently working on water purification for developing countries and a new kind of prosthetic arm for disabled soldiers. Well, that's it for this program. Thank you for joining us. You can keep up to date with more case studies from the XPRIZE Foundation and BT Global Services on Innovation in Action by subscribing to our podcast series. <laughs>